Nesnese se se sestrou část první. Ahoj krásné studentky a krásní studenti. Today let's have a look on reflexive verbs in Czech. Zvratná slovesa v češtině. What is a reflexive verb? Let's see a few examples before we go further. Snášet se, nesnášet se, nesnese se se sestrou. Posadit se, dívat se, divit se, mít se, mít se. Same sound, different meaning and of course different uh, presentation, orthography. Česat se, smát se, číst si, poradit se, radit se. A tak dále. At this stage you all have already noticed that the reflexive pronouns si and se are a necessary a component of reflexive verbs. I have read that si and se are usually not translated into English. Well, sometimes it happens that a reflexive verb in Czech is mirrored by a reflexive verb in English, for example, to wash oneself. Others are not. So the question if si and se are or are not translated into English is not really important. What is important is that sometimes a reflexive verb in Czech will be mirrored by a reflective verb in English, but there is no rule and it's just a pure coincidence, I would say. Or coincidence, well, Latin roots. So for example, to wash oneself is reflexive in English and it's also reflexive in Czech. But for example, česat se, to comb one's hair, isn't because I, I will not say I'm combing myself no I, I will say I'm combing my hair right and as a contra example for example the verb křivě přísahat in Czech purge oneself isn't a reflexive at all in Czech but it is in English when I say a reflective verb it means a reflexive verb I'm very sorry but I don't know why I make this mistake over and over again. Don't be like me. As a conclusion, Czech language, along with uh, Slavic and Romance languages, uses massively, extensively uh, these reflexive verbs. How does Czech form reflexive verbs? What is a reflexive pronoun first? A reflexive pronoun is a pronoun which refers to another noun or pronoun within the same sentence. So how Czech forms reflexive verbs? Well, verb plus a reflexive pronoun in its short form se and si we also say the clitical or clitic form or verb plus a reflexive pronoun in the long form sebe sobie and what i would really love you uh, to remember starting from now and forever are these two couples Se, sebe, si, sobie. It will be very useful later. Se, sebe, si, sobie. So for those of you who love definitions, what is a reflexive verb? A reflexive verb is a verb whose direct object is the same as its subject. Miusa. 
Češu se. Oblékám se. And a little note for Gary, who declares hating my grammatical mumbo jumbo. So what is a direct object and what is a subject? The subject is the person or thing doing something in the sentence. Whilst the object is having something done to it. And this is why I said that a reflexive verb is a verb whose direct object is the same as its subject. I wash myself. I am the subject who is doing the action of washing, but at the same time, this action is being done to me. So I'm acting, I have a, a role which is twofold. I am the subject and I'm washing myself. So I'm at the same time the object of my action of washing myself. <laughs> anyway, another very interesting point is that the presence of the reflexive pronoun can drastically change the meaning of a verb. Let's have a look. Snášet, snášet se. Snášet, snášet se. Nesnášet, nesnášet se. Učit, učit se. Učit, učit se. Prát, prát se. Prát, prát se. Hádat, hádat se. Hádat, hádat se. Malovat, malovat se. I should do both. Malovat, malovat se. Objednávat, objednávat se. Objednávat si. In other cases, the meaning is just ever so slightly different. For example, počkat, počkat si, počkat, počkat si. The meaning is very, very, very subtle, but you don't need to worry about this today because it will come automatically to you with the use you will observe uh, with the Czech uh, native speakers. Be just worried about all what I have said and all what I will say. Another fact, very good for you, you will love it, is that Slavic languages in general and Czech language in particular use this or use one and only form of the reflexive pronouns for all persons and numbers. Whilst in English and in French, the reflexive pronoun follows the person and the number. Examples. I have prepared a beautiful schema for you. Do you remember the lesson about memory and memorizing better? So, schemas. Miju se, říkám si. Miješ se, říkáš si. Mije se, říká si. Mijeme se, říkáme si. Mijete se, říkáte si. Mijou se, kolokvíl. Říkaj si, kolokvíl. Mijí se, klasikl ček. Říkají si. Klasikl ček. But trust me, mijou se, říkaj si, it will suffice. It's perfect. It's more than enough. This is good, but it works only for the clitic form, the short form, se and si. For the longer forms, it's a little bit more complicated because the declensions 
uh, step in. But it's a wonderful opportunity to tell you more about the longer form and, and so on. Do you remember I was talking about the couples? Se, sebe, si, sobie. So now let's talk a bit about this one. Actually, it's a big thing, difficult. Se stands for sebe. This is why I made it a couple. Sebe is the long form and it's in the accusative. Sebe. So I can say miu se or miu sebe. This is how I know that it's in accusative because if I say miu se, it's quite difficult to determine which case the this particular se is in. So just remember se sebe accusative. Si stands for sobie and sobie is again the long form of the critic si and it's in dative so i will say miusi ruce i'm not holding the phone because my memory is weak miusi ruce but i can also say miu ruce sobie si sobie komu czemu it's dative si and se come always in a second position in the sentence not the second word the second position ten mladý muž se dívá na fotbal ten mladý muž first position se second position pronoun dívá verb na fotbal in the next lesson, the part two of Nes Nese Se 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 Stro, we will see uh, when to use Se and when to use Si in more depth. Depth, depth, depth. But for now, I will just tell you, because like this, it's ready to use keys in hand. And the reflexive verbs for you. So when to use se in the accusative se, the self is the object of one's own action. Miu se, oblékám se, češu se. If the sentence includes a grammatical object, a noun identifying more closely the verb then the se will automatically shift to si when we have the reflexive pronoun si it's in the dative form and it means for oneself or to oneself oblékám si svetr češu si vlasy a vousy Let's compare the sentences now. Miu se. Miu si ruce. I have this object now. Češu se. Češu si vlasy a vousy. Oblékám se. Oblékám si svetr a košily. A kaloty. A boty. Ah, boty. So not oblékám si boty. No. Obouvám si boty. Boty se neoblékají, boty se obouvají. That's why we can say also instead of boty, obuv. Obuv. And do you know who was the most famous obuvník in Czech Republic? Baťa. 
you surely know Batya, but you pronounce it Bata. No, it's not Bata, Bata, Bata. Batya. We have a last fact to cover, and it concerns irregular verbs. There are several irregular verbs in Czech where C will be used even without object. Examples. Ráda si čtu. But I could also say ráda čtu. The meaning is nearly the same. Čtu si čtu. Ráda si čtu, ráda čtu. Dítě si hraje. But if we join the object, it will still remain si. Dítě si hraje s traktorem. Holčička si hraje s panenkou. Chlapeček si hraje taky s panenkou. Obě děti si hrají s auty. But it's perfectly all right to say obě děti si hrají. Or colloquial from obě děti si hrajou. Nepamatuju si. Or I can even say nepamatuju se. It's an exception within an exception. But just know that if you want to say I don't remember, you can say nepamatuju si. Nepamatuju se. To se teda nepamatuju. Pamatujete si na tu úžasnou lekci o paměti? Co jsem udělala v létě? A vy mi odpovíte to se teda nepamatuju. Nepamatuju si. And I hope you have noticed that I have integrated and used several techniques of the memory lesson in today's lesson, which was called, do you remember? Repeat after me. Nesnese se se sestrou část první. Good. Krásné studentky a krásní studenti. Dostáváme se ke konci naší dnešní lekce. Nesnese se se sestrou část první. Přeji si, aby se vám dobře učilo. A budu se na vás těšit, těšit se, u příští lekce, která se jmenuje Nesnese se se sestrou část dvě. I told you that Czech uses extensively reflexive verbs. Brzy naschledanou.